Alright, this is Ron Mitchell playing the Hunter Call of Wild on PC. Today we're taking a look at the Weapons Pack 2 DLC, which has just come out. We've got a brand new rifle, which is the Moser Naget. We've got the brand new pistol, and we've also got a drilling rifle. Let's take a look at the rifle first. Moser Naget MN 1890 is what it says installed. The Solokin MN 1890. This is the assembly line version. We've got the defense line. And we've also got the front line. The front line is sort of a rustic scratch version. Take a look at the store description. Uh, we've got new ammo for this, but it's only available in soft point. It doesn't matter when you're shooting black tails because it absolutely destroys them. Looks very nice. Uh, i probably use the first skin, the assembly line. It's got a nice rustic red sort of look to it. Here's the ammo it takes, which is the 7.6254R soft point bullets. It says effective range 150 meters. We'll test that out as we use it. Got the Hyperion 4x8x42 rifle scope is what I like to use. Here's the pistol, which is hard to pronounce. It's the Mangiafico 410. Three different skins, like all the other new guns, three skins of each. We've got the flat black, the Muratus, and the polished steel. They all look very nice. Uh, this takes 410 shotgun shells, so for a small game like waterfowl or rabbits and you've got the 45 long colt bullets which it takes as well which you can take down things like roe deer or springbok so very versatile pistol let's take a look at the ammo this takes the name is so hard to say i don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it exactly but i'm sure we'll get that right sooner or later 45 colt flat nose bullets weapon class 2 shotgun ammo is 410 bird shot so ducks, rabbits, here's the site we're going to use, goshawk, red eye, 2x4x20. Right, that's what I normally use, shotguns, right onto the drilling rifle, the Grelic drilling rifle, we've got the carbon fibre here, three different skins, got the rifle classic, and we've got the rifle select, I like the rifle select, it's very nice, sort of like a worn uh, cherry sort of wood look with a brass stock. This has got two 16 gauge shotgun barrels either side and in the middle we've got a 9.374R big game cartridge. So you can take down things like moose with the middle option and then you've got two shotgun shells either side which can take down ducks or geese. So very versatile, I'm looking forward to using that, seeing how powerful it is on things like moose. We've got two bullets here, we've got the 9.374R polymer tip and you've got the soft point option. Now, there's no uh, difference in range between these two from what it says in the store description but the penetration and expansion are totally different. Penetration on the poly is 40 whereas the expansion is quite low, it's, it's only 12 but if you look on the soft point expansion is 53, there's quite a lot of difference but the penetration is a lot less so use whichever suits how you hunt or what you're going to be hunting. Uh, I will mainly use a polymer tip to be honest in that. Shotgun ammo takes 16 gauge. I'll stick some bird shot in for now in case we come across some ducks. Because we're on Leighton Lakes, and look at this because we've started the video, it's absolutely slaughtering it down. So, what should we use first? I think what we'll do is we'll go with mm, go with a big one, shall we? The uh, Grelic. I'm just showing you what they look like. Got the Murtus on for the pistol, got the Mosin. If we find an animal straight away. But whatever we come across first will be what we use for the gun. And almost scripted the moose calls. <laughs> right, so it's going to be the drilling rifle first. I'm not bothered if it's a female or a male or if it's a diamond. We're just going to test out the guns today. So whatever we come across is just sort of like a live moving target. We're not going for trophies. If we get a trophy, it's a bonus. But the intention today is test out the new guns and see what they're useful for uh, across the reserves. They are all quite versatile and got many uses, so it should be a good selection of guns to use across many reserves. Right here we go. So I want to uh, just test out the range of this. Here we go. I'm going to get about 100 meters and see how the Grelic does. Right, here goes. Oh my. <laughs> 
one thing I forgot to mention, and many of you will do this, is you shoot moose with birdshot. Now what you do is, and a lot of you will do this, is make sure you hold down R. That changes the rounds. So it's better to learn by a mistake, because you won't forget then. Look, there you go. Hold down R, and it swaps from 9.3 to your shotgun shells. So hold it down. It takes a little while. You might not think it's working, then it will swap. So that's the best way of learning, is by making a mistake. <laughs> It's hopefully it's not a diamond moose that you do it on or a really big red deer. So we've got the right rounds now. I'm just swapping them in between just to show you how it works. I know it's Phil in the live stream. He kept he kept saying it and he said it on Steam and a few things quite various because uh, there's going to be a lot of people who's going to walk up to uh, giant moose and stuff and they're going to blast them with birdshot. That's going to happen, I guarantee you. <laughs> right. Hopefully we'll get another moose now and uh, I'll show you the correct way to do it. We have got bird shot as well, so we can shoot ducks if we spook any of those. This is the advantage of having it. Just get the moose caller, give it a quick call. The heavens are opening up. I like to hunt in the rain actually, it's really uh, realistic and it's really uh, well done artistically. As to the atmosphere, what we've got over there, we've got an elk. Not after you. We're after the moose. I want to test out the damage, uh, see how it puts the big animals down, like the moose. This rain is getting worse. You might not hear me soon. <laughs> Wade through the long grass. Might get some thunder any minute soon. <laughs> It's quite scary when it goes off actually because it's really loud. Calling the moose. Who would go hunting in this weather? Absolute monsoon. <laughs> Hopefully it's worth our effort getting soaked through. When you got that on full blast on headphones, it makes you jump almost. It is really loud. But realistic, I do like it. The gradual noise uh, decline and up of the wind with the rain really does work. Right, here's our moose. Time to test out the Grelic. Is it going to be good? Well, that looked like a good shot. How quickly is it going to drop? It looks like we've got a lot of blood on the floor as well, so that's definitely vital. So yeah, quite close up, that seems very effective, we'll run over and have a look, we're not, like I say we're not going to have the trophies but we just want to see how it performs at knocking down bigger animals because obviously you want it to knock down quite big animals with it but you also want to be able to knock down geese or ducks as well so unless you've tested it and tried it out you don't know do you? Where is it? Where's it gone? Quite a little bit. That's the last thing you want, isn't it? You don't want to be running around all day trying to find that animal you've hit. Um, you just want it to die. <laughs> Especially when you hit it with a vital or something decent, uh, an accurate shot. Here it is. Let's run over. Look like a three or a four or something. Some a low scoring moose. Like I said, I just want to see where we've hit it and the details. So here we go. I've hit it in all the right places. It's a silver. Quick kill bonus, 41. It's a male, it's a four. So quite good, quite close up. I'm going to test some longer shots on it because I want to see how far we can shoot with it. Because um, obviously you haven't got a sight on it, or I haven't got a sight on it. I don't know what it is with these moves, but they just seem to be creep pushing me. I'm trying to get some ducks or other animals near so I can test out the other guns but I just keep getting moose pop out the bushes That's which is great about Leighton Lakes. Uh, there's a lot of moose around the lakes. So I should expect it really. I'm looking to try out a long shot with the Mosin. 
uh, on a black two. So, yeah, another vital hit. So it's quite easy, but we've only been testing about 100 meter shots up to yet with the Grelic. Here's the moose. Right. Right long. Quick kill bonus is zero, but I'm not a big fan of that. We should actually just totally remove it, if I'm honest. Uh, I don't like a lot of these multipliers in the game. I'd like to be able to just hunt the animal I'm after. And based on what it actually is, just get the score. I don't like the multiplier idea in the game, to be honest. I'd like it to be changed. Whether it will or not in the future, I don't know. I think it's uh, it daisy chains up to give you a sort of like a false score. I'd just like the animal. If an anim animal is a big trophy animal, it's a trophy animal. Drop in the comments what you feel about that. I know a lot of people on Steam uh, comment about this. Uh, they don't like the idea of daisy chaining up animals because... Uh, it makes you take certain shots you probably wouldn't do because of it. Uh, I just like to hunt naturally and shoot it how I would shoot it. Um, like I say, drop it in the comments how you feel about it. Would you like to see the quick kill bonus removed? Would you like it as it is? What do you like about it? Why you like that? I'm going to try out the Mosin now. Hopefully we're going to try out the Mosin. We should find Blacktail. There is Blacktail around here. I did uh, hear some earlier up the top end. And now I'm coming down this area. Uh, it's quite open in certain parts of the river. And you can spot them near there drinking. What's that there? It's an elk. So, no, you're not what I'm after. I want a black tail. Let's try and get one at least at 200 meters and see how it drops them. We've also got the pistol, so we're near the lake. So we might get some ducks if we're lucky. See which is better for shooting the ducks as they fly off, maybe with a scope on or off. We'll try both and see how easy it is. It says recommended distance 25 meters with a pistol, so that's not very far really, but it does say that on some of the shotguns as well. So, and we've got some ducks here, so hopefully we can test that our new uh, magnifical, however you pronounce it, pistol. Here we go, we've got the Murtus on. Try and stalk up to him. It's not so bad if they fly up in the air, as long as they come our way or in our range. Because, like I say, it says 25 meters ideally, uh, sort of the range you should be aiming with this, which isn't far. So, if they fly the other way, it's going to be quite hard to hit them. Well, it might be, but we don't know until we've used it, do we? So, it's a lot better than just going to the range and testing all the guns out because you get to know on live targets. So, there it goes. I could go prone and try and crawl through the grass. We're not too far away. There they are. I'm not bothered about the scores of the trophies or not. You just want to see. Oh, there we go. Right. This is what I'm talking about. If we run towards them. Right. We should get a good chance here. I'll try with the scope on first. Nope, we're not working with that. Let's take it off. Press the middle mouse button. There we go. So actually with the scope off, it's pretty decent. Quite surprised with that. More or less point and shoot. So that's actually quite accurate. I think I'll use it without the scope on. Seems to be a lot easier to judge. Get our mallards. So yeah, I wasn't sure how powerful the Mangifico 410 would be, uh, the pistol, but I think that's actually going to be uh, uh, a usable gun on here when I'm on Leighton or where birds are. I'm going to use this quite often now, I think. Fun little gun. Right, here we go. Another one, a bronze. With a scope on, uh, didn't judge the drop at all, right? I had to practice a little bit with that, I think. Also, another good reason is for this. We've got rabbits close. What's that? That's either the world's biggest rabbit. <laughs> what is it? See something in the long grass. That is not a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, that is not a rabbit. I can hear the rabbit though. They are quite loud. I think the rabbit sound should be turned down a little bit, but obviously you need it for location. Here we go. <laughs> Is it a zombie? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was a zombie rabbit. It took the full shot. 
If it is bird shot into its 410 round. Look at that, absolutely destroyed it. A female. So silver. So there you go, look, you can uh, kill ducks, kill uh, white-tailed rabbits as well. Uh, so very versatile little pistol. Will help out. All right, it's Mozan Nugget time. Let's try out this gun. Let's see how good it is. We'll come down to Balmont at the minute because lots of black tail here. Quite easy to find right out of the lodge, just behind it. And go towards the lake. There's often bears here as well, so bears and black tail often in abundance. We'll see how that works out though, because you know how it works when you're recording or streaming live, asking anyone who does it, everything vanishes. <laughs> or something goes wrong, that's what normally happens. But yeah, where we are at Balmont, there's normally a lot of black tail around this area. Hopefully we can get a nice male, but it's only to test it out. And just show you in action. And what it sounds like, the gun's got a nice little punchy sound. I like this one, it's sort of like a cherry red uh, wood. And it really shines in the sun, as you can see. The scope seems a bit odd on it at first. Seems very long compared to the rifle, but you soon get used to that. Right, come on, black tail, where are you? There's normally loads around here. Like I say, you, you get black tails here, and you get bears quite often. That's a female. I could shoot that, but I don't really want to shoot that. We're going to try with a scope on, try and get some just penetration and to show you the sand, or let you hear the sand. Uh, but then we're going to try some without a scope on, and then we're going to try a long range shot with it. And then Ron's going to give you his review. Is it worth it for the new DLC? My verdict. The pistol is a definite great use up to yet. Really pleased with that rabbits and ducks so obviously that's a great gun to have really rifle oh here's a bat tail and that should be dead <laughs> i don't think that's running for it was quite close though got female we could shoot but now we'll take the male and that's dead so black tail down like i said i do like this rifle i think i'll be using this for black tail when i'm on leighton the magnifico or whatever you pronounce it pistol for rabbit and ducks it's a male it's only a silver but great gun great sand this will be my black tail gun when i'm on here really is good so two of the guns really love the drilling rifle not quite sure on it yet I'll probably use a bigger caliber gun because if i'm on here for example i'd use i can use the pistol but it's a good gun mm. ron will make his mind up in a minute you know what we'll do here, right? We'll take the scope off. Let's try and no scope both these. Well, uh, well, not no scope, but take the scope off and uh, see if we can get both from iron sighted. See how good this gun is. Can we get both. Off? Right, here's one. Panic's going to set. Here we go. <laughs> yep, I think we're quite accurate with that. I should have really took the longest one first, then the closest. But it looks like we both hit them. So there's the first one. So it's good without a scope on, and it's good with a scope on. So definite buy. The pistols are definite buy. So it's looking like a great DLC purchase. Uh, it's a pint of beer at the end of the day for the DLC. Get lots for it, and lots of additions. So it brings a lot to the game. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Right, where's the other one? I know we hit it. Looked like we hit it well as well, but you never know. Where is it? If you get the DLC, drop in my comments what you like best or what you're looking forward to trying uh, the best or what just looks the best from watching the video um, out of the three new guns. What what you're going to use, what would you like to use first and why would you use it? That's a good reason uh, to let other people know uh, what's worth getting and uh, what's worth using. It's nice to give a reason for buying things or uses. It shows that they are a valid addition to the game. Right, so here's this black tail. Here it is. So yeah, like I say, this will be a definite black tail gun when I'm on later. That's that over there. The moose. 
Uh, I think it's another black tail. Put the scoop on. I could shoot it. Ah, it's gone now. <laughs> right. So we'll collect this. Now, ideally, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to collect this and we're going to try and find a longer one just to finish on because I just want to see what it's like at distance. You never know, it might drop off quite quickly and not be very powerful. But I'm hoping with an accurate shot, it drops animals just as quick. I think it will. It seems a very good gun to use. And uh, we'll head down to the lakes. And here we go. Nice big lake area. If anyone knows this, they know there's lots of moose around here and blacktail. And look what we've got there. Just get this in the right range. I'm going to manufacture about a 200 meter shot. This is the furthest shot I've took up to yet on a blacktail. So here goes. Let's see what it's like. Hopefully, we don't mess this up. That looked like a solid hit as well. So let's see how far it runs. So yep, yeah, Ron's happy with the guns, happy with the DLC, great additions. Anything new and adds to the game, I'm all for. Didn't take too long to learn how to use them. I've got to practice a little bit more with a pistol and a scope on to get the ultimate range bit. Saying that, I think uh, without a scope on it's probably going to be decent enough. Drilling rifle, uh, I'll have to try that on geese, see how it performs on the geese and maybe shoot red deer with the middle round, uh, that could make it a bit more of uh, an option, so very versatile, but the Mosin and the pistol are really what I've got DLC for, I was quite surprised to actually looking forward more to the drilling rifle than I was both the other guns, but now I've actually used them, which is food from the talent is that when you have to use them I'm actually preferring the Mosin and the Magnifico 410 that's what I'm going to call it <laughs> the Magnifico it's like the ice cream uh, yeah I'm going to call it that uh, those two are actually my favourite of the DLC like I say drop in the comments which is your favourite or which you like uh, to use the most so here is our black tail well, our tracks of our black tail where did we hit it can't see it going far because it looked like a solid hit. Yeah, not bad in the distance and our first longish shot. I have to start doing some long range shots again, like 400 meters plus. Right, here we go. So, yep, yeah, happy with that. 201 meters, so pretty accurate as well. Left long. That's been me, Ron McTube. We've been taking a look at the brand new Weapons Pack 2 DLC. It's available on Steam. PS4 and Xbox, go check it out, great edition, I'm Ron McTube, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, bye bye.